Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog Face. I was going on a nice, relaxing sunset drive with everyone's friend Doggery Do. Hey, boy. Sin. dramatic. Well, the dust we kicked up. Really? You're gonna follow me in here? You don't have a dog, friend. Well, Sosa's gonna have to do it eventually, like I said. You know what? What if I just stand right here? Well, I'll be damned! <laughs> that worked out about as well as could be imagined! I got to show off whether those things go off when you step on them without actually having to step on one. That went real well! the end of the thing. Like, 30 of the things, you'd think I would get it after exactly 10 completely done, uh, minefields. I mean, if you guys would still like to see me step on a landmine at some point, uh, let me know in the comments, because there's still minefields to take care of and gut gashes and uh, pink eyes. I saw just one, oh, one just earlier. Yeah, here's one. You know, that's still an option, I'm just saying. I just found it funny that I was going to do that today, and then someone volunteered to do it instead of me. Good boy. You helped too. Don't forget. Uh, yeah, I got this one already. Let me just make sure it doesn't say anything. Yeah, 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 don't need that. Why don't I get on that side? I went out of my way to be wrong. Huh. Where to now? Uh, here. Means I should probably take care of these guys. Oh, you're a bomb car. Oh, I blew up a rat! Uh 
At least fucking cook it first, Max. You're not an animal. Oops, I bumped the mic when I scratched my nose, my bad. I don't have any water. And I don't know that those guys are going to be, uh... Comfortable around me for the time being anyway, so let's get the fuck out of here. I guess it has headlights. No brake lights, though. I did this already, didn't I? It's quite claustrophobic in here. It's because the roof looks real low from this angle. And I can tilt the camera down a little, but it just looks back up. Leave him there. Not good, it's just up here. So I need to find a uh, shelf or something to let me up. Ah, screw that. Well, it didn't work. Apparently having a flippant tone isn't all you need. Oh. Oh. I wasn't changing to the there's one right there whimpers. done, boy. I wonder if dogs can actually do that. I don't know they have, like, sniffer dogs at airports and stuff, looking for bombs and drugs and what have you. But, uh... Doggery do is just a dog. Raised in the wasteland. And trained to fight. Even how chill he is, and we're not in a minefield, it doesn't even seem to be uh, very enthusiastic about that, so... Probably for the best, we sort of rescued him from Scrotus after he failed to kill us. Let's not forget that. The first time we met Dog Redo, he was going for the throat. You know, in the Wasteland, that's the sort of thing you just can't take personally. I just say I really like that sometimes when he's walking, Max will put one hand on his gun. As if just to remind himself that it's there and it's ready. Good boy. That wasn't all of them. Damn straight. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Standing on the opposite side of the mine because the guy was just beelining for me. that foul minefield.
Good boy, doggery do. You're getting the good maggots when we get back. I guess we can't really do anything else with the buggy. Guess I can get, uh, let's see. No minefields here. God damn it, stop pointing at things. There we go. Got that, got that, got that. Okay. Almost everything done. I just need to pull down a few scarecrows. I guess if I tra fast travel here, it will just, uh... Some of the, ma the Magnum Opus. I'll just do that, since there uh, is a Scarecrow just up here. In fact, I will fast travel here instead. There you are! <laughs> so we can spend some time with man's second best friend, Chum Bucket. <laughs> An invisible gas can? No. In that case, I'm gonna go steal one of these. And that was as pure as me. Just wanting a moment to admire the uh, this beautiful thing we have created together. Huh. An intel guy parked right next to it. It's not even the first time I saw that, actually. There was one over by, uh... Yeah. One over by Jeets with an intel person next to it. Okay, I guess that's a, uh... Scavenger encounter. But it's basically the same thing, except that you get, like, 50 scrap at the end. I'm fully aware that I could just go up to the, you know, level 6 uh, Scarecrows and just hammer them with Thunderpoon shots until they fall down. It just doesn't feel right, you know? You dig? How's it going? If you're the one who tore down all of them rotten sticks of steel and flesh they call Scarecrows, and we all owe you praise. There is a scrapulent just parked up here. No, no, there's a dude in it. demonstrate what this guy was talking about. Let me prove it by just, uh, yeah, here we go. And then traditionally I come in here and pick up the pieces, even though I have no benefit for it anymore. It just feels right. It's like Bateau from Ghost in the Show. It says in a bio of his somewhere that, uh... He enjoys working out, like exercising, even though he's got a robot body, and it gives him no actual benefits. He just finds lifting weights, uh... Relaxing. Let's him clear his mind. I have to take it to the thing, don't I? Uh, in that case, uh, jump cut. <laughs> and then jump cut back. Ah. <laughs> I lied, we're not actually going back up there, because, uh... We've got a scarecrow there, it's now the middle of nowhere. By the way, you get 500 scrap every time you bring a scrapulence back. I thank you. In case you wanted an exact number. 
So, you know, not exactly something I need at the moment, but... I don't know, it doesn't feel like it would be rude to turn down the Wasteland's offering. Just think. When I take out the uh, last of the Scarecrows, the people in Jeet's territory will be able to go, like, 24 hours at a time without thinking about Scabrous Scrotus. What does that mean? Is it them? Oh, this will be rad. Button. Baller. Yeah, looks like you do have to get everything in order to bring it down all the way to zero. Hello, friend. I'm cast out from Balefire. Their leader, Jeet, judged me and found me wanting. No fighting spirit left. Too broken and old for their battles against the hordes of Gast Town. So what'll it be? Help me with this loot and split it? Or corpse me and take it all? not ideal. Hey man, you don't have armor. You can eat my ass. mistake. I assumed you were done. This is the worst place to have a car fight. Up on top of a dune. Oh hell, mines! That's what you meant. I thought it was one of the suicide cars. Likey. Let's see if I can pick the guy out of a lineup. Oh. No, I do need to be on the side. What am I doing? Yoink! I'll repair it in no time. Oh, yeah, it's a lot more fire than usual. Better. Making minefields. They won't see me coming in this. Not right away. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, uh, here. No, don't fast travel, you moron. That will just leave it behind. All right. Um. Okay. This is the last one. In that case, I will probably try to finish it on the convoy rather than the scarecrow because, uh, frankly, it just sounds a lot more interesting. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I could finish off, you know, protecting Jeet's territory by knocking down a really, really ugly piece of what is technically uh, art. Or I could... Chase down a whole bunch of maniacs on the road and run them to their deaths one by one. Before literally taking a trophy in order to uh, remember my victory.
Hey, wait a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, right, I forgot about that. The project rewards aren't available all the time. On the other hand, I can just do this. And as long as I don't actually need to go to gut gashes in the next 15 minutes, uh, that won't even take away from that either. Yeah, there we go. You guys not have a, uh, I get farm? Oh no, we've got one. Huh. Oh, while I'm here. Let it not be said that I was just coming in to take advantage of your hospitality. Medium stockpile. The significant amount of- this significant amount of scrap has helped the stronghold to grow. You helped Pink Guy build that sailing car. Did you tell him the waters won't come back? No worries, it's covered in floaties. Um, well, there's the timer. So I guess, uh, that'll about do it for this episode of Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time when we go to liberate Fuel Veins and, uh, set Jeet's territory free of the oppression of Scrotus once and for all. Later!